Hello friends and welcome back to House of Props. Today, one second, Buddy here. Buddy, we need you back on the bridge. Copy. I have to run, so I'll let the holodeck show you how to build this communicator. Like all my 3D files, I built this communicator in AutoCAD. I make each individual element a different color so I can keep everything straight and it doesn't become a barrage of lines. I printed the two pieces on my Ender 3 Pro and each piece took about three hours. Now would be a great time to hit the subscribe button and make the notification bell ring. Or if you're able to, scan this code so you can have this channel on your phone for when you're on the go. To smooth away the print lines, I'm using this 220 grit sandpaper with this handheld sander. I've never used a sander for this before, so this will be my first time. I hope it takes it easy on me. It seems to do a good job, and it doesn't take as long as hand sanding, which is a plus. I wish I had this when I was sanding my DC-15A. I will definitely give it another shot in the future on bigger prints. Once sanded, I will spray the communicator with a 2-in-1 filler and sandable primer. I usually apply three coats and sand each coat after it is completely dry. When a coat is dry, I lightly sand the surface with a 180 grit sandpaper. This will just help to hide any print lines that were missed. Once all the priming is finished, I'm going to spray the communicator base with a satin black spray paint, and then use a gloss black on the lid. The satin will be painted with an acrylic, and the gloss will help keep the lid shiny. When the spray paints are dry, I spray a metallic gold spray paint on the lid in several thin, even coats. While the gold dries, I base the other piece with a pavement gray acrylic. This color is great because it's close to black, but not solid black. I start to paint details with a silver acrylic, but I wasn't happy with the finish I was getting. So I taped off the area I didn't want to change and used a metallic silver spray paint. Next, I painted the surface of the three center buttons with a white acrylic. This will help the future colors pop. These buttons get painted blue, yellow, and red. I use a tiny number one round brush so I don't apply too much paint and fill the small gap in each button. Once all the paint is dry, I seal both pieces with a satin spray varnish. This will help protect the paint job. Then I use CA glue to attach the display screen print into the center circle. and snap in a piece of plastic that I cut to the same size as the print. Then the last step is to snap on the lid. And there you have it, a communicator similar to the ones that are used in Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. If you did, you can find a link below where you can download the files. 
Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to House of Props. And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.